big blow for Tinubu and Shetima. See who might be the next president if Tinubu should resign. Nigerians, this is getting tougher. Welcome back to Prospect Channel XTV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. Don't forget to share and don't forget to like. Thank you. May God Almighty prosper you all. Amen. The Senate President, Godun Okbabio, finds himself at the center of a potential political maelstrom, maelstrom with the prospect of taking over the reins of the nation should the Supreme Court deliver a verdict favoring the 2023 presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi of the Labour Party. Their separate cases challenge the outcome of the presidential election held on February 25, 2023, in the event of such a seismic shift in power. Okwabio could become the interim president, stepping into the role currently occupied by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The anticipation surrounding the Supreme Court's hearing on their peace fight against the presidential election petition court verdict is palpable. The presidential election petition court had previously upheld the candidacy of Tinubu, a member of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as a rightful winner of the February 25, 2023 presidential election. These pending appeals, including those from the Allied People's Movement, APM, could potentially lead to the removal of President Bola Metinubo and his Vice President Kasim Shetima from their respective offices. In such a scenario, the responsibility of the nation's leadership would fall upon the Senate President as stipulated by 1999 Constitution as amended. Akin Udo, a legal practitioner, emphasized that there is no ambiguity in this matter. The Constitution, alleged with the electoral law, clearly indicates that the President and the Vice President, as well as a Senate Governor, as a State Governor and their Deputy, run as a joint ticket, campaigning and standing for election together. Consequently, they share a similar mandate from the electorate. According to Udo, the Senate president in, in this case, Godwin Okwabio, would act in the capacity of president for a 90-day interim period within which a new election must be conducted. And this legal provision aims to ensure the continuity of leadership and the democratic process in the event of a leadership vacuum. Why the Senate president is becoming sworn is being sworn in, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is expected to organize a fresh election for the nation's two highest offices within three months, that is 90 days. This constitutional safe guide, as outlined in section 146, two in brackets of the constitution, entrust the Senate president with the powers of the presidency during the transitional period. The session states that if a vacancy occurs under a specific circumstances, while the office of the vice president is also vacant, the president of the Senate shall temporarily assume the role of president for a maximum of three months. During the time, a new president will be elected to serve the remaining term for, of the office. The prospect of Senate President Godwin Okbabio assuming the role of interim president highlights the importance of the judiciary process in determining the country's leadership as the Supreme Court deliberates on those critical appeals. The, national, the nation remains a state of suspense with its political future hanging in the balance. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court on Monday ruled on the 
appeal by People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar against the February 25th decision of the presidential election petition court to declare President Bola Tinubu the winner. Decision was taken by a seven member bench of the High Court led by Justice John Okoro after lawyers of the parties in the case presented the argument and presented closing argument. The Supreme Court judges held defense argument at the appellant request to present new evidence. Articles Legal Counsel Chris Uche San urge the court to admit the petition, allow the appeal, and admit fresh evidence. He asked the court to accept his petition to disqualify Tinubu. However, lawyers to the defendant, Atiku Mahmoud, the Independent National Electoral Commission, San Wole, Wole Olan Bekun, Olanik Bekun, San Tinubu, and Akin Olujemi, San, all progressive Congress, urged the court to admit both applications refusing to do things and complaining that they are unreasonable. The judge then reserved his decision until a date to be communicated to the parties. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.